from Kipper Wilson. These were my last words. Last word I learnt out. We've been two days ago. I, uh, we were down south of Rockies and um, my mate Lugo was filming. I had a, like an hour session come in and swapped up, took all his camera gear back to the house and he went surfing. Probably about four days ago, just sitting on an offshore down uh, at the Skull Candy House in front of Rocky Point. Um, Sherman was there and we had to do a few shots at the house next door, so just sat there, put a few headphones on and well, hard work, man. Probably on, it wasn't, yeah, it was probably on the net, just Facebook. You get a couple of weird ones on there, you know. <laughs> Oh, what was it? It was something about how tall I was or some shit. Some chick from the, some ghetto in America. It was kind of weird. I didn't reply on that one. I was like, fuck. It would have been a, a gecko for sure. He in Hawaii. Like it's fucking millions. <laughs> fuck. Um, I, I couldn't even tell you, dude. It's been a long time, yeah? Last tattoo would have been probably about a month ago, the one on my chest. And um, no, no reason why, man. I just love tattoos, and shortly I'll be covered in them. So yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. This one actually it was like last week. I put a little clip up on um, Stab Mag, and um, some dude wrote in. Sort of riding me off saying I'm like the Lindsay Lohan of surfing and all this shit. Like, oh, it was funny, man. Ah, uh, would have been, I don't know, probably about two weeks ago back at home. Just one of my, yeah, probably mom if I was in this shit, you know. She always calls me Christopher, one of the boys just fucking around. Probably swan and huh? You know at Rockies you get those little inside ones onto the sand. Thought I was all cool just cruising in, you know, and fucking slipped up and fucking just got dragged up the beach, you know, on the sand. I felt like a bit of a kook, you know. Uh, it happens a bit at home with mum, but um it was probably Carmela yelling at us for to do something, you know, fucking wash up or <laughs> take our shoes off, that's what it was. I had to take my shoes off in the house, I forgot to. I don't really yell or fucking snap or nothing like that, so I don't think it was probably on my dog, yeah. I just get told bad advice, huh? <laughs> Good, I don't know. Probably I was talking to Tommy Khan the other day at um, Rockies, and he was like, uh, he was surfing the rights, and I was like, fuck, she'll go out there, and he um, pointed to the left, and I went out and had a hell of a surf, so that's probably it. Fuck, probably at home, man. Like, I had a few movie premieres at home for the movie Now we just did. And um, that was wild, dude. We had like four premieres in two weeks and done a music festival. So all of them combined would be like one big month of partying. So that, that would be it. Fuck, we talked about this like the other day. It was, um, they had a massive weekend, dude, like huge, you know. And you know, as you were saying, you get a bit depressed, yeah, the, the day after. I put on fucking Twilight and somehow cried in, cried in that, so... Yeah. <laughs> it was just a fucking drinks or something, I don't know. Yeah, probably about three weeks ago, back at home. Um, some old cat, uh, Joey Larkin, have you heard of him? Old, old pro surfer, like, way back in the day. He's pretty old now, he'd be like 70 or 60. And he, he's the only dude in Australia who makes these olden day surfboards, you know, like hollow ones with bungs. And um, I ordered one of them for, for like three grand or something to put on a wire. So yeah, that's nice. probably the most expensive, expensive thing I've ever bought, you know. Fuck, I don't know, probably um, when I was a kid, it was like Blink-182 for sure. It would have been just before I came over here, just at the local park or on the driveway. I've been skating heaps lately, huh? It would have been, fuck, who was it? It was a local hardcore band at home called Morning Tide. We had like a little local music festival and um, 
fuck, they put on a Nazi show, like, to sit on stage and do backflips and, you know, just... What's the name again? Um, Morning Tide. Morning Tide? Yeah. Fuck, it would have been down, you know, Lani's? We surfed the left, so you got the right and a, a little left, and, um, called Mini Ulus or something. I didn't really fucking hit, but it could have been really bad, you know? I done, like, a tr went up to try a, a lean. Missed the board, I was way high and the board's fins up like right there and I just missed a side fin, you know, on my ass, so like, that was the scariest one so far, so. <laughs> um, when was it? After that big fucking month of party and I got really sick one day and woke up in cold sweats and fucking, yeah, threw up, bathed everywhere, you know, it's fucked. Chaka, oh, so many over here, dude. It's like something in the air, yeah. I don't throw them at all, but yeah. Probably like fucking two minutes ago or something. <laughs> Who was it? Fuck. I'm trying to think. They, it was um, Lanch. Lanch, yeah, downstairs. Yeah. Cruising past, yelled at and I'm like, Who the fuck is that? You know, acting <laughs> like an idiot, so dumb. Yeah, that was the last one.